G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Thanks for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. Today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV is a little bit different from normal. Today we're going to be helping a customer by drilling holes in his tank. The reason that we're drilling holes in this tank today is because we're going to be installing an Eclipse Hang-On Overflow. This is all the tools that we need for the job and so we'll run you through exactly how we do this. But first of all, let's have a look at the overflow and then we'll marker out the tank. So this is the Eclipse Large Hang-On Overflow and it comes in two parts. This is the part that, come, that will actually sit inside the tank and you can see it has a weir combing so the fish don't go down into the overflow. And this is the external side of the overflow. And so with the external side, we have uh, three lines of plumbing and this is going to be where we're going to attach our pipes to run down into the sump. Now you'll notice that there are two holes that will run between the inside and the external side of this overflow and that's where we need to cut the, the holes through the glass. So with this setup, you get this template which allows you to mark exactly where you want to put the overflow on the tank and it also makes it easy so that you can drill the holes using the template and it acts as a guide for when you're drilling. So we're going to just complete marking out this overflow. This is where we want it and now we're going to clamp it on so that the template can't move. We've clamped the template into position so that the overflow will sit at the height that we want it to. So this is perfect like this. Now in the Eclipse box we actually get a drill bit that is designed specifically for putting holes in glass. And so there's one important thing that we need before we start to drill our holes through this glass and that's water. So I'm just going to start by putting a generous amount of water on here and we're going to continue to add to the water as we go. So we finally got through the first hole and it's a very neat, nice hole. It's worked perfectly. Uh, it did take ages and that's partly because we're using a cordless drill and really this is a job that would be better off with a power drill. Uh, but we've got full battery so hopefully we'll be able to get through the next one. And um, then we'll clean it up and you can see how much mess this process takes. That's why we're doing this outside. Uh, we're in a garage really and we've got foam underneath. Um, it's a very messy and sweat, hot and sweaty sort of process, but we've only got one more hole and then we can install our hang on overflow.
we've drilled our second hole through the template and now all we have to do is tidy it up and we'll have a look at how the holes went. You can see we've got this towel underneath and the reason why we use this is because what we're actually cutting out are these little circles of glass and you don't want them to drop onto what is actually the front of the tank. Uh, it potentially can cause a chip or a crack or something um, but also you get little shards of glass sometimes and it's just nice to keep it all in here and we can deal with this later. But our holes are looking pretty good. Yeah, so I'm happy with this. Uh, there's very little shelling around the edges of the hole, so that's a good sign. Going nice and slow with the drill is the key, especially when you're getting close to coming out the other side. Uh, if you go too fast, you'll find that you will get these little shells and uh, it can cause problems if it's too bad, but um, these are good. So we'll tidy this up and then we'll put this Eclipse Hang On Overflow on. I definitely find it easier to install the hang on overflow when the tank is in its normal vertical position. But we'll do it like this for now for the sake of the video and to show you how it's going to go. So our internal side with the weir combing is going to go in through like so. As you can see, perfectly lines up as you'd expect. And then our external side goes over that. Now, there is something very important to bear in mind we have a number of these grommets and so the position of these grommets is very important. One, two. Okay. And this is where it gets difficult when you're trying to install these on a tank on its back like this or on its front but we'll screw the bulkhead on enough that it just holds there in place. Second one with our grommet. Much easier when the tank is in a normal position and then the bulkhead screw them like that. Now I do often use silicon to help aid with the seal of these bulkheads. Um, so I'll just put silicon on either side but uh, we're just going to leave it like this and allow the client to uh, put the overflow on together how he wants it. Um, I'm not sure if he wants it silicon in place or not. But having a look at everything from here it looks really, really good. Um, our lid is going to sit like that. And uh, I'm very happy with the distance from the top of the weir combing to the blade. That looks excellent. That's going to uh, stop fish from jumping into the overflow. Um, it's nice and square. And so now, really all the, the client has to do is feed his plumbing down into his sump uh, and possibly just uh, silicon together if he wants. So we've installed our hang on overflow. And what this allows us to do is to convert what was a freshwater tank into a reef tank. This will allow for an overflow system which allows for a sump which makes it easier with a refugium and a protein skimmer. So this is step one in converting this tank into a beautiful marine tank. Uh, it's gone perfectly. Uh, drilling glass is one of those little jobs that we have to do from time to time and uh, it's a little bit uh, painful sometimes when you've got thick glass and lots of holes but this time it's gone beautifully. So anyway, that's it for today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing! So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's going to be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy and keep on reefing.